Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Chips Challenge 2, The Quickening, and today we're starting with Death Trap. So much for kinder and gentler, huh? So let's see what's going on. We only have 100 seconds to beat this level. But, okay, that's a pretty, that's a pretty decent start right there. Bummer. Aw, man, I got in right at the wrong time. That's a, that is indeed a bummer. I couldn't have put it any better bummer. myself, and now I'm just anticipating it too fast. Oh, gosh. Okay, well, how do I get back through, then? That's... Bummer. That's not really not... Wow. The the bummers are getting, like, super delayed now. Okay, there we go. I made it through. Now I gotta make it through again. Ha ha ha. And I can do that. If I made it through once, I can... Oh, yeah, I have force boots. That's right. Okay. Now I gotta drop them. Drop and give me 20 force boots. Well, oh, oh, I have to go back around. I have to go through it again. Wow, boy, they, they really make you run this gauntlet several times, don't they? All right, so yeah, the heat is on. The heat is on. Going this way. I think that was too Bummer. slow. Yep, but now, okay, but I got to pop open the deal. Wow, there, are, there is a surprising amount of steps to this. Okay, so... Yeah, I really got to get in there quick. All right, so we go through here, and I think I do have to do this, and I think I do have to drop these here, but now I have to come through here, I think. Whoa! I think I was maybe literally one frame behind those. Well, now I... Well, how do I... I can't very well drop them on the other side, can I? I don't think so, right? Okay, but I can go through there and then I get stuck. And then I go through there and then I get stuck. Now I'm stuck here. Wow, I'm already stuck on the first part of the first level. Boy, you gotta love it. You love to see it. Okay. Alright, so I have the blue key. That is That much is understandable. Well, why don't I just... I'm gonna just grab this right here. I'm gonna drop them right here. I'm gonna try dropping them in a variety of places for just a second. So that I... Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's the best place to drop them. Right there. Okay. Alright, so now I have the ice boots. Aw, oh, man, really? I got the straggler? That's... Man, he thought he was gonna be last, and now he is first. That is what a what a good day for the for the tail end glider, the littlest glider. Okay, I actually did this wrong because I have to let go of my boots. Bummer. Earlier, completely forgot about that. Man, that never stops being scary right there. Okay, now I just gotta drop them off here. Drop my shoes off at the shoe dropping off station. Okay, go through there. Pink, pink. There we go. Very good. Okay, so now. Ah, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so now I have to give that up, though. Ah, oh. oh, man, really? Ah, oh, okay. All right, so bop, bop, bop. So I just have to go one, two, pretty much around in a ring twice. It looks like. Okay. So up, yep, and then bam, bam, bam. Yep, that's all you got to do. You just got to hit that ring. Bummer. Yep, and then I didn't think about the. Oh gosh, yeah, lots. Increasingly lots to think about as this game continues. Like, like at least like 15 things per level that you gotta keep in mind. And if you miss even one of them, well then screw you, buddy. That's curtains for you. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be pretty quick with this little part too. It's, it's a dicey one. Okay, you can't get through at that part. I'm not finding the correct opening there. Which, how could I? With everything bombarding my senses all at once, how could I even begin to assess the correct opening? And, you know, you got time working against you, too. There's that. Boy, this game is becoming increasingly just, like, a grind for me. Like, I'm so... I'm getting really over it. And I wish I could just drop it. Like, I used to I used to have no problem doing that. Just drop... Bummer. Just dropping these games like a rock. Like, something... This That was especially true during the burnout phase. Like, right around... I guess I'd say 2015. 
uh, when the burnout was really real and I was just ending series after three episodes because I was like, mm, yeah, it turns out I don't feel like playing this after all. And I'm trying to commit to something a little different now that I've come back, but this game is making it really hard to like want to do that. And I probably turns out I actually don't like it very much. All things considered in the long haul. Okay, Bummer. so I have just a tiny bit of space between the centipedes and the ants. God, there's still 17 chips left after this. Okay, I'm actually through the hallway. Wow, nice. And, wow, turns out I'm at the end of the level. It was actually a really short one. Okay, yeah, I was right at the end. I kept dying right at the end there. But, man, it's just, it's all, it's all, like, getting crammed together right at the end. And I knew there was nothing to do except just figure out the openings. But, golly, it's getting really, yeah, stop sneering at me, Vladimir. Like, I can, every level is a sneer at this point. If you can get the bonus on this one, then you are better than you look. Well, guess what? I don't collect bonuses, so screw off. Pigeonholes by Chuck Somerville. Uh, Chuck, Chuck always gets the little Vladimir. Uh, oh, wow, boy, this is... Okay, well, this is a little more... Weirdly, I feel more comfortable in this odd claustrophobic space than I do. Okay, uh, okay. Thought I had used up the keys incorrectly for a second there. It was a bit of a, bit of a color panoply going on there. Okay, and then, do I actually have to push that? Uh, what happens? What happens? Do I need to push? I think I need to push both of these down, maybe. Yes, I gotta get all of these pressed so that, uh, okay, this is gonna get really hairy here in a second. Okay, and that did not do anything long. Oh, hey. So, will they actually, okay, there we go. Okay, that wasn't so bad, actually. Oh, hey. This is an interesting little room. Don't mind that too much. Uh, okay. Oh, now we've got ourselves a sticky one. Okay, so where can I push blocks? Okay. Should be able to do that. No, I can't push that one. I can't push that one. Okay, I can push... No, I can't push that. Okay, I gotta start from the back here, I think. Um... Okay. I think I need to push these in a way that will allow me... Ah, I see it. Okay. A tiny room, but an effective one. There we go. Bummer. <laughs> oh, God, I'm going insane. I was about to say, we haven't seen the sea turtles in a long time, and... You can take it slow if you want, Jess. They don't disappear until you step off of them. You don't have to just beast. Oh, wow. Okay, so oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, so we got tin foil here. Uh, how are we gonna use that? Are we gonna use it to get the ghost to pick up the key for us? It may be that that is so. So how do we want to do that? I think maybe we want to do this first. The ghost picks up the key. Very good. So now, we just have to foil this one, so it will unlock the door for us. Perfect. Okay. That was a cute little pu- Oh, okay. Okay, there's some way to get all of these in one go, and I hope I can finagle it. Looks like I'm gonna be able to. Man, okay, I love- Okay, these are like little, like- Okay, however- Okay, how many of y'all- Okay. One thing I love are the New York Times mini crossword puzzles. I love them to pieces. And they're five by five, just like the rooms in here. They're five by five, just like the rooms in here. And they are just, they, they get your brain going. And they're just fabulous little puzzles. Um, do we actually maybe want to run, run this a bit more? 
Do I actually want to, like, go down the... Do I actually want to run it? Oh, hey. There we go. Yeah, maybe I actually want to run this a little bit more. Okay, so... Okay, so if I go this way... Okay, I didn't want to go all the way back to the... I didn't want to go all the way back, but you can kind of shorten it, tighten it up. Hmm, this is a very interesting little room here. I think I've screwed it up, though, actually, from this point. Well, now I'm a little sad. I was having fun just kind of going through the rooms, and... Yeah, now I can't get through. I've got to actually... Okay. Yeah, I made I made big mistakes for myself, and now I gotta start over. Unfortunate, but I'm having fun with this level so far. The really fun part of this one is that once you know what you're doing, you can absolutely fly through these rooms, and it is just fantastic. Like, what did I do here last time? I think I went all the way down, up, and around. Made a little snaky snake, yeah. Some of these rooms aren't even that complicated, like... It doesn't have to be a real complicated, uh, uh, jigamarig kind of thing. You just have to, you just have to make fun stuff. That's all there is to it. Okay, so now I need to be a little more careful. I don't think I have to go on to, okay, yeah. I can just go this way. I don't have to backtrack onto the railroad tracks ever again, really. I just have to be careful about where I walk. One more ought to do it. There we go. Something happened. There's not as much noise as there was. Okay, the ghost doesn't like the water. I remember that much. Oh, hey, okay. We got another cutesy little room here. Oh. Well, what happened here? Did I make a... Did I make a boo-boo? Was I not fast enough? Do I... I... Was I... Okay. Um, this is an odd... Oh, maybe I need to get the ghost. No, I can't get the ghost to do anything. I have the tin foil. Um, this might be... Okay, I'm going to drop this here. See if... Bummer. Oh, yeah. He would have run into me. Yeah. So I do need to actually drop the tin foil to make the fireball hit the button. All right. So I do want to drop the steel foil here, but I don't want to stay in that spot. There we go. All right, so what do <laughs> Okay, this is cute. What have we got going now? Oh, gosh. Oh, man. Oh, gosh. If I'd have been able to sort out the movement of the tank, but I didn't want to stand on the bear trap deal. Maybe it didn't matter so much, though. All right. Let's study this a little bit. What happens here? Okay, he just kind of goes around in a circle. So I can go around and get the chips. So I'm going to go ahead and just sit here for a little bit. So if I can get the, I guess I need to get the block away from him somehow, but how do I do that? Do I have to like do this kind of sly little move? Whoa, I don't want to do that though. So what happens if I like get in the way of it? Will this, will this kill me if he pushes it onto me? Bummer. Yeah, it will. Of course it will. All right, I looked this up too, and it looks like he's doing that drive-by thing where, okay, I think I am safe as long as I'm here, but he does that thing where, like, he pushes a block as he pushes a block in one direction and then walks in another. Oh, wow. And, okay, so I don't have long to do it at all. Okay, so... So wait, how much... Okay, I've got a little more space to do this now, actually. Okay. Okay, that did not work. Okay, this is kind of a funky move. I... Okay. So now I just walk around. Yeah, you, can, you do that thing where, like, you push in one direction, but you're walking in another. And... Bummer. And so, yeah, that's kind of... I think that's how you do it. <sighs> See, I was having fun with this level. But then they put this dickhead room right in the middle of this... Right, right like near... I can tell I'm like maybe a few rooms away from the end. They put it at the end of this, you know, nice little fun time. 
And the rooms are fun for the most part until you get to here. But then even fun rooms lose their luster after... Bummer. Oh my god, come on. Even fun rooms lose their, lose their luster after the millionth time you replay them. Like, yeah, this was cool and all at the beginning, but I've done this probably 30 times now. And even these rooms are like... Yeah, I'm flying through them, but it's like, at what cost to be able to get to a room that I can barely, like, part? Like, that one room is derailing all my fun for the entire level, and it's just, it's all, it, it's always too much with this game. It's always one step too far. They, they always, they always push their luck, and they, they bloat levels with all this weird, either extra sensory visual, or like other crap it doesn't need to be this way like if i had if i had an undo button i could just try that one part i don't i don't get like what you're out to prove by being able to do a level in one run like this as long as you understand the underlying principles you know it's fine like i understand how the level works i understand this and and i don't feel like i should be I feel like doing it over and over again is like a punishment. It's like, yes, yes, baby can handle the easy parts. Yes, very good. Then you get to this other part and it's just like, you know, the, the, all of a sudden the steering goes all out of whack and it's just, uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, I was having fun with pigeonholes and now I'm not so much. Okay. So I want to hide in this corner again do that thing as before now i just have to, okay i think i i think i messed it up i think i oh yeah i didn't i didn't do it the first time oh yeah so now i just got to get around it well no no see huh okay and i did it this time too there we go all right now i just have to be careful not to run into him there we go finally i make my headway all right so now what am i doing walking through here getting out of here okay very good so what's happening looks like everybody is kind of uh trading blows here i don't want to go through while the i don't want to go through while an enemy is going through so i'm gonna i'm gonna take my time is there a railroad guy on the other side yes there is so now i can just kind of walk through freely. oh so <laughs> that's kind of cute they all take turns Bummer. why did i do it i saw it coming I saw it coming in everything! Gah, 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 gah. Uh, the freedom! The freedom! I got caught up in the freedom of the being able to walk around and then it just... Uh, oh. Alright, it's my turn to pass. One thing I am a big proponent of, I've watched a lot of puzzle games and ROM hacks, and I've played a lot of puzzle games and ROM hacks. And one thing I am a big proponent of is not too many ideas in one level. This level was good until all the ideas and stuff. And it looks like I'm blocked out from getting bonus points, but frankly, I don't care because I can I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Now I just gotta push the toggle button and not step on any green bombs. That's all I have to do. Not step on the green bombs. If I can handle that. Boy, Chuck Somerville sure does love his logic timers, doesn't he? You know, if you beat the level fast enough, you get the extra bit. Uh, but if not, then then off with you, pal. Okay, so two more, and then pop around. I don't even want to mess with this. Uh, one more chip, and I am home free. <laughs> Never has that been more accurate. At last... I did it. It was good up until the tank, the yellow tank room. I really enjoyed all the bits up to that, but then I had to do all the other bits over and over and over and over again because I didn't, I didn't grok the thing with the pushing the block while walking kind of deal. And then it took me a million tries to get it right. And then that made the other rooms no fun. This game is really just starting to become a grind to me. And I hope, I hope, uh, I hope, uh, I hope that doesn't ref yeah it's going to reflect a lot actually in the final product but i can i think i'm about ready to move on which is unfortunate because we still have 46 levels to go